Will Collier, how do I describe Will Collier? Oh, he's got, he's got lovely eyes. One of, one of the greats, I'd say, epitomises what it is to be a Harlequin. But there's work still to be done, and the defence from Saracens crumbles. Harlequins have their third. Really well liked amongst the group, always puts the team first, always checks in on you, like, how are you in the mornings, and, and really cares about you as an individual. And then as a rugby player, you know, proofs in the pudding, one of the best scrummagers around. He's about 19 stone. Ish. Depends what the, how good a weekend he's had on the uh, on the food. He hasn't done a fitness test in five years. He seems to he always seems to have a niggle. He's always put the club and uh, and the players first. He's one of those guys that that you can lean on. He's passionate about what he does when it comes to certain areas that he predominantly specifies with in terms of the scrum. He's, he's extremely passionate about that. That's what makes him a, a fantastic player for us and a person. It's easy in his position to get overlooked around certain things and I think he's done a fantastic job propping up the scrum for the for the club over the years. And canny knack of, you know, not actually running around the field very quickly, but still manages to stay on the field. To be a club champion is having that longevity at a club and the ability to put performances in week in, week out, add to our environment, uh, lead on our environment. And, um, and Collie's done that. He's been a brilliant player for Quinns, and uh, well, I'd say player, brilliant scrummager for Quinns. Yeah, he deserves all the accolades he's getting uh, tonight. I mean, Bonner's just a ball of energy. Like, whenever you walk into the room, her decibels are so loud. She's just got such a good energy. She wants everybody to be happy and in a good place. And she's really good at reading the room and, and knowing like what we might need at certain times. And she just cares about individuals and that's such a big thing here at the club and she just leads by it in bucket loads. If you were allowed to have favourites because we're not as coaches, Sarah would have to be in there. Energy is something people get banded around in, 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 in rugby environments but like when you walk into the room, the welcome she gives, the feeling of belonging you get when she's, um, she's in the environment is second to none. She's just an energy giver, uh, often gives really positive feedback, makes you feel like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got an influence here. And that's not just for me, she gives me positive uh, feedback as a coach, but like for, for her teammates, she's constantly uh, rewarding them with the energy in her voice, but also the, the, the support she gives them as a, as a teammate. Outstanding lady. <laughs> Zero Bond is quite an amazing person. I've loved her energy since the very first time I came here. She was one of the first people to give me a massive hug when I first um, jumped off the plane and walked through um, the doors of, of the Quinn Centre. She's just a bright person, always positive, always chatty and always ready to, to help you out. <laughs> I think one of Bonner's strengths are making line breaks. Like when she gets going, she, she's like a deranged, I don't know, like a deranged giraffe. Like she's so tall and, <laughs> and lanky, yet she moves like anything you've ever, you've ever seen. So Bonner as a player brings an enormous amount of energy to her performances. Um, she's not only incredibly gifted as an athlete in terms of the, her speed, her power and her line-out ability, but also that leadership she brings on the field as well is, is superb. She'll always put other needs ahead of hers, um, so she's very much the epitome of a team-first player um, within the squad.